So what is the stretch shortening cycle? It's just kind of a fancy way of describing a component of muscle performance where if you stretch a muscle really quickly, it'll respond by contracting really quickly. So if you think of a rubber band, when you stretch that rubber band, that rubber band stores some potential energy. When you let go of that rubber band, you are releasing that kinetic energy. So it makes us more efficient with less kind of cognitive load. And bigger picture zooming out, plyometric type movements, they do just kind of help to maintain the health of muscles. Well, one way we can do this using a TheraBand and attaching it to a wall or overhead and just letting the band pull the leg up and then push it down. The other way I love to do this is on a mini tramp. So you can just stand on a mini tramp and with two feet on the mini tramp, you could just do little oscillations right now. That exercise in particular might seem scary to some of you, but so don't do it on your own. But in therapy, there's lots of ways to get someone onto a mini tramp that's really low level. And then you can put it inside parallel bars to make it very, very safe. And then for those of you that are even higher level, we would take it to standing. And again, you can use a TheraBand to assist in this situation as well. So TheraBands work out great to assist with plyometric exercises. And you can just do little pogo jumps with a TheraBand attached to a wall to start. And then once you get good at that, you can do those pogo jumps on the ground, just on the regular ground. If you get good at that, you can try doing it with your feet in different positions, like staggered position, which is one that I really like. Now, if you've had a stroke, I don't recommend you do any of these exercises on your own. I definitely recommend that you work with a therapist who understands how to grade an activity appropriately. 